Open to Automatica. Till now, strictly hidden behind protective screens, robots went about their day's work alone. Contact between robots and humans was not welcome. That has now changed. Lightweight robots have already left their ancestral surroundings and work together with people. The latest generation of service robots provide services for people. There are already about 100,000 of them and rising. The projected revenues fire the imaginations of producers and creatives. Many things that have been developed, software, mechanical things, technological developments that can be instantly applied, transfer from industrial robotics into service robotics. This is an ideal starting point. At Automatica in Munich, the service robots catch the eye. Das große Thema ist ja die professionelle Service Robotik. The major topic is professional service robotics. That's where it's all happening. We already know the lawnmower which mows the lawn on its own. But in many sectors the topic is now playing an increasingly important role outside industrial production. Außerhalb der reinen industriellen Produktion. One can see the origin from the industry of some service robots quite clearly, but this is due to the individual tasks. May robotics be with you! The facial expressions and movements of humanoid robots are becoming more and more like their creator and can already be bought. We want to introduce the robot into the human-machine integration, bring it into everyday life and the environment, in the home for example, and away from research. In medicine, the robot co-workers help the production line workers with their daily tasks in the lab and mechanical orthotics. We're now getting very close to people, on their bodies, as clothes, so to speak. So one now wears these robots. The rewalk gives its user a priceless attitude to life. Paraplegic people with intact upper bodies can now move independently. I could no longer imagine a life without rewalk. It's part of me. I use it every day. Preset exercise programs use the exoskeleton in motion. Movements of the upper body control the movement sequences. The result? Recovered mobility. It has become a part of me. People no longer gawp at me. Children find it great. Oh look, Robocop! In Japan, small intelligent robots are often playmates for children. In Denmark, the task is very different. At a school for children diagnosed as autistic, small humanoid robots help to look after them and have already achieved great success. They recognize it's a robot, but they feel it's much easier to interact with because it's simple in its expressions and it's foreseeable what happens. So they like it a lot and therefore they engage in the game. And if the personal trainer is not at hand, this motorized running trainer will soon accompany the jogger. The question remains, who will follow whom in the future? The human the machine or the machine the human?